I tried to go into all these movies with no spoilers, but sometimes I let my curiosity get the better of me, so I'll like Google it a bit. I just looked at images, and seeing the monster Sadako's with the spider legs... <laughs> I didn't expect much going into this. Attempting to resurrect Sadako by finding her a vessel, a man livestreams his death and from that point on the curse is spread through the video of the livestream. The cursed video finds its way to the school where the main character Akane teaches, and after the death of one of the students, another one tries to find the tape. Eventually she's successful, and this causes Sadako to appear, which ain't good. Both in the literal sense because Sadako is an evil spirit demon thing, and also the scene looked worse than it did in like the 1998 movie, which is significantly older. When this happens, Akane runs in and she gets cursed. And later on, we see it follow her home, resulting in her and her boyfriend making a run for it. And in turn, that results in him getting captured by Sadako. Because in this movie, she takes prisoners, I guess. Along with the help of a detective trying to get to the bottom of all the strange suicides, they go to the well. And thus ensues a good 20 minute long chase scene. If you watch my spiral review, you'll know that I mentioned like, oh wow, this is so much different than the other one. And I don't like it. This is really different too. Too. But something about the spider Sadako's, the swarm of them chasing her through like this abandoned mall just was kind of fun to watch. She ends up tracking down a phone with her boyfriend in it and gets pulled in by Sadako, who seems to possess her before freeing them both. And then the movie ends. I liked Akane. She seemed like the perfect mix of Riko and Ryuji from the original movie. She was pretty likable too when you really cared about her. As for everyone else, they were okay I guess. No complaints, but no standouts. The effects on the other hand... <laughs> The first scene of Sadako, like I mentioned already, coming out of the computer looked wrong. I won't say it was bad, but it looked wrong. And anytime glass broke, the CGI looked really fake. Along with the CGI bird moth butterfly things. And they were seen quite a bit. As for the Sadako monsters, though they weren't horrible, at times their movements felt really jerky and fake. They didn't look the most realistic, but they didn't take you out of the movie. They looked good and accomplished what they were there to do, which is just chase. I ended up having more fun with this movie than expected, and it even delivered a few good laughs. I'd rate 2012 Sodico 3D a 7 out of 10. It's a good movie, and considering the last movie in this timeline spiral, this movie was leagues better. And it also helps because my expectations for Sodico were pretty low. I mean, in Spiral, she was naked at one point, and she was also either in human form or as Mai. Like, just a clone of Mai, I guess she gave birth to her clone, and... <laughs> it, it's, it's weird. It's... It, that movie's something else. But that movie allowed me to go into this one with the mindset of like, I'm not gonna judge this too harshly on what they do with Sadako. I just want good enough. And the spider Sadakos, they're their own thing, but the Sadako we get here is like the original one, so it, it's all good. That's been my thoughts on Sadako 3D. If you've seen this movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you like me and want to support what I do, consider becoming a channel member or a patron over on Patreon. Both grant exclusive perks like early access to new videos.